it was impressive how much income you generated on BeatStars in 2020. Um, so congratulations on that. I think everybody was was really excited for for that. Thank you, bro. Um, and and I guess what was what were past years like compared to 2020? Was was 2020 a big jump for you? Yeah, huge. It was more than double, honestly. Wow. Yeah. So it, so for about three or uh, I would say four years in a row, it was a very, very slow increase. So my first year hitting six figures, I think it was like 102,000. This is net. Uh, the next year it was 105. The next year it was 106. It was very slow. And then lat, not 2019 was like 120, which I thought was big. And then 2020 was over 250. <clears throat> and it was really just a combination of, of um, you know, just being consistent with it. And then, of course, I mean, I think everybody in 2020 that was already doing good on BeatStars had a much better year because of, I think it was the stimulus checks um unemployment for a lot of artists who you know were are getting paid more on unemployment than they were at their previous jobs i talked to a lot of artists who were just like they stoked about that and they were just buying as many beats as they could um so it was a combination of that and a few other things but we can get into that later well or we can get into it now what do you, what do you think some sure. of the the bigger factors were just for you as your brand you know your habits your mm -hmm scheduling your level of consistency what what would you say were some of the biggest determining factors in in that kind of jump i mean doubling your more than doubling your income in any field is is a hell of a feat so for you specifically yeah. what what felt like the reason uh so the main reason i know was i started working with other producers and I, i've been doing this for about uh three years but as soon as I started seeing my income increase like significantly, it just motivated the shit out of me. And I just started making and releasing as many beats as I could. The last couple of years, I was kind of on the border of like, should I do half placements, half samples or like, you know, and then delegate some time to beat stars. But once I saw that income increase, I just knew I had to take advantage of it. So, but the main thing was really um working with other producers and sending them my beats or samples to upload on their site and give me 50 percent um some give me a little more some give me a little bit less but it's around there and it's really not a collab i just send them a finished beat um like i said sometimes it's a sample if they if they don't feel comfortable doing that they'll just flip the sample give me 50 percent, just like a collab which honestly is amazing because you already have a finished sample pack that you can just send them. And it's honestly as passive as it gets when it comes to making, you know, money off beats, but it was really just sending, sending stuff to a bunch of producers. I'd go on YouTube, find like the top guys in like in the genres that I was looking for, hit them up on Instagram. Half the time, they only have a few hundred followers on Instagram, even though they have 200,000 followers on YouTube. DM them and just, you know, be like, yo, what's up? I love your work. If you want to, you know, uh, do this, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I just, it was kind of stacking up over time of just hundreds of beats out there on other people's YouTubes. And then once that stimulus check and everything started happening, it was like, boom, uh, it felt like out of nowhere, honestly, but it was a, you know, a combination of, of a lot of things and just being consistent too. And uploading twice as much as I as I used to.